the She Angels Foundation. I'm also the podcast host of Invest in Her and an award-winning producer, author, and TEDx speaker. Our show, Invest in Her, features phenomenal female founders and funders. As you know, women receive less than 2% of venture capital funding. Our series is about accelerating the funding of women by connecting them to funding resources. Let's meet today's guest. Welcome to this week's episode of Invest in Her. I'm your host, Catherine Gray, founder of She Angel Investors and also co-founder of the She Angels Foundation. And as you know, every week we have on super amazing women. And today we have on the incredible founders of the Passionistas Project, which is a great women's empowerment community that we're going to talk about. I'd like to welcome to the show the incredible sisters, Amy and Nancy Harrington. Hi, girls. How are you? Hi. Hey, well, that was very nice thank you <laughs> <laughs> and and uh does everybody know your sisters no we always forget to tell people so there's yeah. lots of confusion you know, and they i was figure thinking it out. <laughs> in today's society you know nancy and, and and amy harrington you could be a married couple That's right absolutely you know, so. <laughs> absolutely yeah no we we get a lot of pauses and then fi- sometimes people figure out after they're with us for a while because yeah. we start to sound alike and yes, move alike yes and i can see it that. becomes <laughs> obvious the are very similar. yeah and I, and I think it's so cool that you all work together. You know, that's that's super fun. What a we're great so sisterhood. Yeah, so that's lucky. special. Yeah. And it's funny you say sisterhood because that's what we're trying to do with Passionistas Project is yeah. bring everyone into our sisterhood. So I love that. We're feeling. You know, yeah. Well, we're really, we've supported each other our whole lives. I like that. Yeah. And, you know, and it is a sisterhood that really creates empowerment, right? We're mm-hmm. so much more powerful together mm-hmm. than standing on our own. So that's why I love what you're doing with this project and i love the name let's let's say right up front who doesn't want to be part of the passionistas we all do right <laughs> nancy gets credit for that for sure yeah. nancy nancy and, came up with and that this one started with um your passionistas pop culture right which i'm like, super excited to talk about that and then morphed into this community right yeah yeah that's right and but uh, before we get into Passionistas, because I know everybody's going to want to know what that is and want to be a part of it, um, your backgrounds are so interesting. And uh, in in film and theater, which are two of my favorite things, and I do believe it's film and television and theater that impacts culture and changes totally. it, culture. Um, so that's great that that's your background and then you're taking it into this project. Um, so let's talk about your background okay. because it's very impressive. <laughs> um, so hopefully I won't get this mixed up. So Amy, yeah. you uh, were with um, Miramax, right? No, no, no. Th- you were with Miramax. Okay. Yeah. So you were with um, Warner Brothers, Warner Brothers, yeah. vice president yeah. of post production on major, major movies and Batman, visual effects. Yeah. Uh, Harry Potter, right? Yeah. Okay. So that's that's cool that you bring that to the table. That must have been a really exciting career. It was amazing. I mean, I, you know, I was a Star Wars baby. So that was like a life changing moment for me pop culture wise was seeing Star Wars and then to end up working at Warner Brothers overseeing post-production and visual effects on 250 movies in different forms and to be a part of, you know, big franchises like the Harry Potter movies and Batmans and Yeah, I told you these are amazing women. (laughs) Yeah, I was I was very, very blessed to have that that career. Um, I'll say, I'll say. And then you bring that to the table with all your new projects. And then um, so. Okay, so I'm still going to get you all mixed up. <laughs> so it's, it's confusing. It really doesn't matter. Okay, yeah. so but Nancy, Nancy, Nancy yeah. you are the one that worked with Miramax, and you had your own theater company in Boston, right? Yeah. I mean, you two are incredible, and I love theater. You know, I'm co-producing a show that's opening off Broadway soon. Oh, yes, you know that? it's called Millennials Are Killing Musicals. Oh my God, <laughs> yeah. that's brilliant! And um, when does it open? It's great. It opens. Um, uh, in a couple months, I don't want to say because I don't know when this is airing, but oh. but uh, there's three female leads, which oh, cool. is you know pretty much unheard of on yeah. Broadway, and eighty percent of the team behind it are all women oh. and all from Broadway. I have chills like from head to toe. Award-winning women. He yeah, it's. On all we have to make I a New York trip <laughs> after this podcast. We're going to talk about okay, it. Okay, good. Yeah. But uh, yeah, people can uh, follow it on Instagram. Millennials are killing musicals. Very oh. female driven about 
you love it. It's ripped right from pulp co- from pop culture. Oh, can't yeah. wait. Where Motherhood, social like? media, the whole, you know, Beautiful. it's nothing like it on oh, Broadway. It's that's so oh, that's cool. awesome. So I'm sure it's going to make its way there. My friend Nico Juber mm-hmm. is the writer and creative. You probably remember her grandfather um, was Sherwood Schwartz. Oh, created. my God. Yes. Oh, yes, Gilligan's of course. Island. Oh, and of I have course. to introduce you all. And Brady oh, Bunch. Oh, my God. Yeah. 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 You all have to meet. We got to go to the... Okay, this is a total we tangent. <laughs> we got to go to the Brady house. We'll talk about that well, later, right. too. That was amazing. But then my other passion uh, that I, that we all have in common is film. Nice. Right. Um, and show her the money is coming out to talk about how underfunded women are. Yeah. And and so I'm excited to, to talk to you all about uh, your film background. Right. So, so tell me about what you did in the film industry right. with um, Miramax. Miramax. Yeah. yeah. I actually, um, for like you said, I had my own graphic design business in Boston and a theater company. Wow. Um, and then I moved out here to be closer to Amy because I missed her terribly. She was out here for 10 years and I couldn't stand it anymore. And my husband is a composer, which is why we had the theater because we put on his musicals. Oh my gosh, um, that's so cool. So he wanted to come out here and try to make it in Hollywood. So we're like, okay, let's go. Um, so. We got out here and we, one of us had to be responsible and get a job. So yeah. I got a job at an advertising agency that did the Academy Award campaigns for Miramax. Yes, I and read that. That's incredible. Height, it was the height of Miramax, really. It was Chicago and the hours and yeah. all of those. Like, I, I think. Oh my gosh, I those are two in, of my favorites. In the three years that I worked at the company, I think they won like. 30 Academy Awards. Oh, wow. I want you working on um, our Documentary Academy <laughs> Awards campaign. <laughs> Let's so, talk. <laughs> so it was, it was really yeah. an amazing experience and really fun, but really stressful. <laughs> right, right. Because it was also right at the beginning of the time period where it, we were we did new, mostly newspaper ads and then Variety and Hollywood Reporter. And right. It was, you know the it, millennials or, or the Gen Zs are going. What's a newspaper? What's a newspaper? Yeah, exactly. I was literally in a hotel and I asked for a paper and they go, "What? You want a piece of paper?" I was like, "Oh my god, I'm too old." <laughs> and, and it was right when the the ads were created on computer, as opposed yeah. to I won't even get what get into what they were done before because no millennial will understand it. But, right. So it was when the ads could started to be changed at the very last second before right. the presses started rolling. So right, there right. were many like two, three a.m. nights. Wow! But what fabulous jobs you both oh, had! Totally. And then you take all that expertise and you start uh, the passionistas. Um, uh, pop, pop, pop culture. culture I mean, yeah. yeah, pop culture passionistas. And let's talk about what that is before we get into the community, because mm-hmm. I know that was a catalyst. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and I just loved it. I went on your website and I just love all the stuff you guys did, ha- have done and still do. Mm-hmm. Um, so during that time, you all were doing interviews. You did 1400 interviews on the red carpets and one-on-ones with, I mean, I think everyone from Carol Burnett to yeah. uh, Deepak Chopra yeah. to Mick Jagger, right? We produced, I mean, yeah, we produced an interview with You have had a fun Mick. career. We've been so lucky. I mean, we, so we, we worked at a company called Get Back, which was all retro pop culture and that. The, you know, while we were there, someone said, we want you to go do an interview tomorrow with the Cassidy brothers. So our very first interview was this blogger event where we interviewed David, Sean, Patrick, and Ryan, Ryan Cassidy. They were oh all working on God. a show together. And growing up, everyone our age had crushes on yeah. them. Yeah. So once we did that, it was like, okay, this is a blast. That led us to um, starting to work with the Television Academy, where we, with the foundation there, so they have an archive of... Um, over a thousand interviews at this point with people in front of and behind the camera. So we do a lot of their research. We've conducted a lot of their interviews. We edit the clips for them. So with them, we, you know, we have these three or four hour sit downs with people like Julie Louis Dreyfus and Danny DeVito and all these amazing people. Oh my gosh. And so then we spun that off into our own website where we did interviews from a very positive perspective. We, you know, we're not gossipy pop culture. We're always very positive. We had another client at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, which is how we were able to produce the Mick Jagger interview. And we interviewed uh, Ann Wilson from Heart. I so, love this. And, you know, people you know, think that everybody wants gossip, but people no. want... I- 
I, I know I'm one of those people. Uh, the, you want the authentic story. Yeah. You know, what was their journey? Yeah. How did they get there? What What would they have done if they weren't doing that, right? Yeah, and the more <laughs> they trust you and feel comfortable, the more they'll share things that they probably won't share with anybody else right. because they feel safe. You so know? how could people see those interviews? They go to the Television Academy Foundation site? Yes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, the archive has a, a, a emmys.com, and then you go to the Foundation tab or the interviews tab. Tab. Emmys.com. And, and they're, okay. they're amazing. I warn you, they you will get sucked in. Yeah. It, <laughs> it's a rabbit hole, but the interviews are unbelievable. And the, and the interviews with the people behind the scenes tend to be the most interesting. With st- yeah. We interviewed the, the most prolific female stunt person and oh my gosh so like they're that. just you're right those are the people, people you never hear about no. you don't know their story yeah. that's yeah. fascinating and hair yeah yeah and producers and writers and yeah writers. and especially yeah. if someone wants to do that for a living totally like go hear their stories because there are no stories are alike right they're yeah. they you know and especially in hollywood i think you know how people made it to be an actor or makeup artist or director whatever it's never the same story mm-hmm. because there's no Defined path of how to get there. Exactly. It's one of the most I- interesting and one of the most frustrating things about Hollywood. Yeah, there totally. is no clear, oh, you do this, you do this, you do this, you'll be that. There's no such thing, right? Yeah. 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 But that's the beauty of it, too, because yeah. any, anything really is possible. And these interviews prove that. Yeah. You know? I love that. Oh, I can't wait to look at them. Yeah. So then, uh, from from there, you all have pivoted into creating this community uh, to empower women. Let's talk about that. And this is all kinds of women, from artists to entrepreneurs, right? Yes, it's like right. A, it runs the gamut. Yeah. Why did you make that transition, and why is that important to you to help empower women? Well, you know, like uh, um, Amy said, we had all these skills, and we loved doing interviews, and we always did them from a positive perspective. But we just felt like we wanted to do something with a little more impact. Yeah. Um, And it was right around the time of the 2016 election and the Me Too campaign and the Time's Up campaign. And we thought, you know, there's all these stories being told that are powerful and important and they need to be heard. Yeah. But there's also so many stories of kick-ass women that yeah need to be heard absolutely and And you two are the ones to tell it we thought let's use our skills to tell the stories of these women so we started a podcast and that's really where it started we're just like let's just do a podcast that'll be fun and so we started to do a podcast and that escalated and snowballed into a uh a passionistas project pack which is a subscription box with products exclusively from women owned businesses so wait when you come to the community you sign up and you can get you purchase the box yes you, right, of all right now, women founded businesses yeah, so, products yeah. i love that yeah yeah like what kind of products like anything like there's almost always a food or beverage in there because yep. that we love that yeah um, i have some people you need to talk to yeah. good <laughs> they're called planting hope these women are creating new products like sesame milk Ooh. and veggie rice Ooh. uh-huh oh, right and that sounds like it'd be yeah. a good product to be in the box just yeah. saying that's yeah, perfect so we have, you know makeup books yeah jewelry yeah, uh, yeah. jewelry and stationery we pick a theme and then we go out and try to find products that fit the theme and put it all together. It's really fun. And it's it's really amazing. You for, So for the one price, yeah. you're supporting seven or eight women-owned businesses. That's fantastic. Yeah. So when you come to uh, the passionistasproject.com, mm-hmm. you can sign up to become part of the community. Yeah. You have an option to purchase this welcome pack. Mm-hmm. Um, and is that something you can buy over and over it, it yeah. honestly it is a subscri- it was a subscription model uh-huh. we um we have recently paused the subscription model because it just wasn't working well for us uh-huh. but we are continuing to sell it as a one-off box one-off box and, cool and yeah. so you can subscribe so to that yeah. yeah you can subscribe to it that way and then you'll get it you know on an annual basis so yeah. it's a perfect holiday present it's the perfect you know we we've had been approached about doing corporate boxes like customized corporate boxes yeah. so that's the kind of thing we're starting to do oh yeah. customized because so if somebody works for a big corporation mm-hmm. and they want to provide uh to their clients let's say yeah. they can buy this box of all mm-hmm. female founded products yeah. i love that because yeah, it doesn't have to be just 
purchased for women. You know, we can tailor it so that the products are f- for men right. as well. We actually have our favorite unboxer is a man. He he loves our, <laughs> our every month he un- or every quarter he unboxes the box and gets really excited. Yeah. So <laughs> oh, I love it's good for that. everyone. Yeah. That's so clever. Now, so you all do the podcast, you do the boxes, and then you do events. Yes. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about your events. So, yeah, every year we host a women's equality summit called the Power of Passionistas. It's a three-day event. It's always been virtual up until now. Next year, we're going to do our first in-person version of it. that's exciting. When will that be and Uh, where? We are thinking spring here in Los Angeles. Great. So we're in the middle of nailing that down. But um, yeah, it's a three day event. It's full of panels, storyteller events with Q and A's. Uh, in the past, we posted the Luna Fest Film Festival, and we give the Passionistas Persist Awards every year to women who have followed their passions and inspired other people. So we've given them to Jane Goodall and Margaret Cho and a lot of amazing uh, entrepreneurs and activists who are uh, uh, making a real impact, but not necessarily getting the spotlight the way they deserve to right so it's that would really be great. pretty much all of them <laughs> <laughs> exactly it's a, we have a Take long your pick. we have a long <laughs> list <laughs> yeah. oh that's great you're doing that we need more uh people uh recognizing uh people out there that are uh making such a difference but like you said not there's really not a platform to you know right. uh hail that mm-hmm. yeah so good for you guys thank you um and so, uh, also, I, I went on your website, and, and uh, how do people find the podcast? They can go to the, the easiest way is to go to the website, because it's sort of the portal for everything. It is, so the yeah. The podcast in fact, is there, all yeah. the social media is there. Yeah, they and it is see. called the Passionistas Project. That's Correct. Right. right, so if they were going on iTunes or whatever, they'd find it there. Yeah, exactly. Um, but I did go on your website, and I listened to the last one. Uh, so interesting. I want to talk to you after the show. Uh, it was a Reiki master. Yes. And um, I know... Uh, which is a healer and it's so yeah. interesting i just had mentioned to a friend that was having some physical issues you should really see a healer and then i go on your th- you know i told my wife i go on their podcast and it's a healer i'm like wow this is really weird <laughs> that happens a so, lot on our yeah. podcast it's kind of amazing yeah. yeah maria dominique lopez is her name and she's in southern california yeah. so she and she's amazing yeah, yeah she sounded amazing yeah. and and you guys do all kinds of interviews like I think your website said from the tea entrepreneur to, you know, artist, and uh, 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 you, you have an attorney for the Black Lives Matter. So, yeah. you know, lots of, uh, you know, topics uh, that are near and dear to people's hearts. Right. Yeah. 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 We, we try to focus on three pillars, which is personal growth, social activism, and business development. So you really can... You know, because we, we feel they go hand in hand. They do. You know? Yeah. So a lot of women's groups really only focus on business. And right. We feel like that's not enough. You know, there's more to it. There's oh. more to the story. Right? It's so, like what's behind the scenes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And how do we keep ourselves healthy mentally and physically to keep yeah. up the fight as a group? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? And what's the purpose of the summit? Like, uh, you're bringing all these amazing women together with great speakers. What do you hope people get from attending that? Is that part? Yeah, I know. I know you're on a real uh, path to helping create equality, right? Yeah. 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 I mean, one of our goals with the with the summit is to bring together women from marginalized communities. Mm-hmm. And um, what we do is we pick a topic for the panel or the storyteller event, and we bring people from various communities together. So rather than having a Black Lives Matter panel or an LGBTQ panel, we have a panel about the power of transformation. And we bring people from all those communities together. So you hear they're different journeys but also the similarities because for everyone to come together it's really important to realize that her story is the same as her story from a different vantage point but it's the same struggle yeah and so often we separate into this group doesn't understand the struggle of this group i couldn't agree with you more i was on a panel last year that was about the underfunding of women and it was a specific group of people on this panel and and then myself which was outside that group and i'm like hey 
we're all in this boat together, you know, so we shouldn't be separating ourselves out into, and I feel that way as an LGBTQ person. Like, I'm like, whenever I put on an event, I'm like, let's bring everyone together. Yeah. We are more powerful being in this together than saying, oh, the gay women over here and the people of color women over here and the white women over here. I mean, we're that's not serving anybody. Yeah. Um, we are so much more powerful when we come together and support each other, right? Mm -hmm. So I totally agree with that ideology. Yeah, so that's sort of our yeah. point of the summit is for people yeah. to realize that, that yeah. we're stronger together and that all of we are all fighting the same fight. Right. And we're expanding our membership, our community into a membership website. That's the next phase of the Passionistas Project. So there'll be more of a, a centralized platform rather than going on Facebook and getting lost in the you know, noise of everybody else's stuff. Um, right. So you're building a platform where everybody meets there yeah. instead of on social media. Exactly. And people are getting away from that anyway, from what I understand. Yeah. So yeah. that'll be great. And then they can yeah. collaborate in there right. with whatever they need, either to let people know what they do right. or to, right. you know, you're looking for someone who needs to do Reiki, you find them in the community, you need someone to produce your commercial you find them there too exactly yeah, yeah our, our goal and we've already started this is to build a micro economy of passionistas buying from passionistas if you if you need to buy something come to the passionistas project website first go to our directory and make sure you can't get it there before you go to amazon right because yeah. a lot of times people will say oh you know um i want to do i want to buy insurance or i want to uh, create a commercial or I want to uh, do a website and I want to find a woman mm -hmm. and they'll you know sometimes say oh I don't know a woman that does that and it's, so it's great to have a directory yeah. of uh, in a trusted community yeah yeah, yeah. Well, and most of the women in our directory right now either we've worked with directly or know people that have mm -hmm. you know so you yes. have that extra level of confidence in, yes. in the services or Love the product it. Love it. And then one last thing on your website I loved was your um, your bucket list. <laughs> I love that. Everybody should have that. Uh, maybe some people do, but I don't know that everybody writes it down. So there you can go to their website and you see their bucket list and then you can see which ones you've accomplished. And, which are, and some of them are like not, you know, not a huge thing. Like it's easy to go you know, have dinner at Spago or whatever, you know, like, I love that they, you, you didn't make them like, oh, you have to jump out of an airplane. Oh, no, you know? we're not <laughs> jump out of airplane people. <laughs> That's never going to be on our bucket but list. But it's so fun. It was yeah. fun to see what your list was, what you've done, what you haven't done yet. Mm -hmm. You know, what's going to be the next one on there, do you oh, think? Oh, boy. <laughs> I don't know what the next one will be. I think it might be go to New York City and see an awful yeah. starring three women. <laughs> co co-produced by that. our Co-produced by our friends. <laughs> It yeah. sounds good to me. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, how do people find you all? Passionistasproject.com has all uh, links out to all of our social media. Okay. It has our a contact. Uh, you can sign up for our email list so you'll get constant reminders of where we're going next. We have our, our monthly radio tour of our podcast episodes that are going live, our appearances on other people's shows, things like that. Fun. So you'll get those. What a great idea. We'll get those <laughs> blasts. Exactly. You'll hear about this. Mm -hmm. um, you'll get those email blasts from us. You'll know what we're up to. And most importantly, you'll also get get updates on the women in our community because the biggest feature that we do is spotlight the women in the passionistas community so you'll constantly be learning about other what amazing women right. who are doing incredible things for them you know product wise community wise um you know services that they offer so that's the best way to stay in touch sign up for our mailing list super fun and i can tell anything i'd be doing with you all especially a, a big summit would be fun Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you'll make a lot of lifelong. We've made so many lifelong friends in the Passionistas community and oh, they're right. their friends now. It's really we're proud mamas. We get to stand back and watch all the women love on each other. So I love it's it. great. I love it. And you're both on uh, LinkedIn. Yes. 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 Yeah. Yes. Okay. So Amy and Nancy Harrington, you can find them on LinkedIn and visit the uh, passionistasproject.com. 
right? That's perfect. Okay, ladies, thank you so thank much you for so being much. on. Thank you for having us. Everybody, thank you for tuning in and be sure to check out the passionistasproject.com. Amy and Nancy Harrington, thank you for being on. And uh, of course, check us out at sheangelinvestors.com. And of course, we are on social media, She Angel Investors. And you can find me, Catherine Gray, invest in her on Instagram as well. Of course, we just mentioned early in the show that we have a movie coming out called Show Her the Money, and you can follow us on Instagram to find out what's happening with that. That is Show Her the Money movie on Instagram. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make it a great week. Remember to invest in other women and to join the PassionistasProject.com community for their exciting podcasts and events and their welcome packets. That's how you can support women founders. Make it a great day, everybody. Remember to invest in her.